Hi everyone, this video to show you how to plot the graph in Sigma plot. Okay, so let's say your simulation result, you have three results. Okay, so you want to plot all of this into the Sigma plot here. Okay, so how are you going to do this? Okay, first you're going to export your data. So you just click on your S parameter, the three sample data here. Just click on export. Okay, then you just save anyway. So you will have something like this. Okay, so you have your frequency and your S11. So frequency is here, your S11 dB is here. Okay, then I will show you how to click, put in the sigma plot. So first you just go in here, right click and create new and new worksheet. Okay, so now you have section 2. So this new data. If you want to copy one by one, also can. So it's something like, let's say, okay, just control A, copy all, then put in sigma plot here, and sample two here. Okay, so you know the first column and the third column is frequency, and this one is your S11, okay, for sample one and sample two. So another one will be here. Okay, so now you have three data here. Okay, so just go here, section here, just right click, new, and graph page. So you have a graph page here, and then do you want to create a graph? Yes. Then they will ask you which type of graph that you want. So we're going to have like line and scatter plot. So you just click on next, and then click on multiple straight line. Okay, so you have multiple line because you want to have like three different line in your one graph okay so next okay here is like asking you if you want to pair or s one column of s that means your frequency and many column of your y that means your s1 okay yes this was our, we our choice you also can choose like s pair that means s for the sample one frequency then pair with your s1 and then after that another s for your sample two frequency and then pair with your S11 Y. Okay, so why we can choose this one S man S many Y? That means right because our S is the same because our frequency here is the same. It's constant. Just our Y axis the dB for S11 is different. Okay, so we can choose this one. Just click on next. Then you ask you to choose a column. You can choose from here or you can just click on this side. Okay, so you have column one now and Y y the mean what your y axis one first one okay so we can just like click here so we know this one is our sample one sample two and here will be our sample three for the s11 value then once you're done you just click on finish okay now you can see your graph is here so how are we going to change it to be like coloring and the name and the font type and size okay so graph two here we can zoom in okay and then when you click on your graph, okay, so we can double click on this. Okay, so we can just click on here. We can choose like none. Okay, so no, no have the symbol. And then after that, we can choose like line. That means your line is black color now. Okay, you can see black. Then we can choose like coloring, follow the incrementing. Then click OK. So we have something like this. Okay, after that, the gap, no. And then here you can choose like incrementing. Okay, then the thickness of the graph. Okay, then you feel like, okay, it's enough. Then you can just stop it. Okay, just choose your thickness. All right, and then the font size of the Y axis and the S axis. So you can just click on here and click shift uh, control. No, click on control and then go to the font here. You can choose like array, yeah, and then choose like maybe 12. You're on the font. Okay, so let me check here. Your labeling here is like. Okay, so the size is 10 now. You can make it like 15, obvious a bit. Yeah, something like this. And here also the same, you can click on the tick label font and then 16. 
Okay, now you have your font of your S and Y axis uh, larger. Okay, so and the scaling. Okay, so the scaling you can do it like scaling here, axis, and then you can choose like Y data or S data. Okay, so Y or X. Okay, so now let's say we choose like X because we want to make it like same as the simulation. One to four. And then we just go here, press one. Okay, then automatically become constant. If data range, that means they automatic here to uh use the scaling auto scale. Okay, so now it's four. Alright, so you have like one to four now. Okay, one giga to four giga. So we're going to change the S assist name here. Double click and frequency yes. Okay, so done. And you also can change the font of this one. You can make it like bowing bit like 14. Okay. And here, let's say here is I we put it like S11 DB. Then we choose it bow it and 14. Okay. So here 14 and bow Alright, so done. Okay, so this is how it looks like, and here you also can change the graph name, like S11 versus frequency. Okay, so done. And then how about the sample here? Okay, you're going to move this sample and make it like, okay, so we call it like sample 1. And then here will be like sample 2. Here will be like sample 3. Okay. So done. Okay. So and the font of here you also can change it. Like you make it like 12. Okay. But wait. Okay. And you also can move the region. Okay. Let's see. Move here. And then we don't want the boxes. We can just double click on it and untick the show the region no uh, frame of the box so okay tada okay done okay so this is how you how it looks like for the how to use the sigma plot and then you also can export the result or you can screenshot it if you want to export the result you can just go here and like save okay oh this one is save the whole sigma plot uh, file but you can export this graph okay so it's just one click and then after that just right click here and go to export okay it's like select and then export let's say we have like uh, graph one okay so done then it will ask you the height or the width okay of your graph so you can make it bigger or depend on the quality of dpi then you just save it Okay, once you save it, then you can open from your download file, our download file, and the graph one. Okay, so you can see the graph, it looks nice, and then you can just put into your report. Okay, so this is how you plot your graph, okay, referred from your data from your simulation or any file that you have, or you can make it like this as well, data, so in a Excel file. So you also can just like copy paste and then go to the sigma plot and just create new worksheet and then paste here. Okay. So this is how you're going to plot using your sigma plot. Alright, so that's all. Thank you.